Thank you, uh, Kieran Lachlan. Just as the outset, I'd like to just thank the Grand Court for selecting this topical issue today, um, because I think it is very important, and I think that's uh, emphasised by the fact that the, the four opposition deputies here in the county have put it forward. And I know, as well as, ha as has been said, is that the government deputies in the county would be in support of, of the provision that's called for here as well. And I would like to also acknowledge the work of the Donegal Parents and Diabetes Support Group and also the Donegal Branch of Diabetes Ireland for their work in highlighting this issue and constantly, constantly pushing it. And um, hoping, hopefully we, we can get a delivery and we can hear from yourself today, Minister, that um, a clinical nurse specialist in, for paediatrics will be appointed to Letterkenny because that is the only solution. And I think it has been outlined the fact that hospital management are saying that there's an enhanced service there isn't really acceptable when you look at we don't know and parents don't know what the split is going to be between the, the nurse specialists that's there dealing with adult cases, dealing with children cases, paediatric cases. And children are still going to have to travel to Dublin from Donegal um, for services. And I think Paul Gillespie of the Donegal branch of Diabetes Ireland put it very well when he talks about the effect that, that travelling has on children with diabetes. You know, he said one of the problems of, of, of travelling with a child with diabetes is that if their blood sugars are a little high, they're more prone to getting car sick and you're four hours from your destination. And also, once you get to Dublin, then the Dublin clinics are absolutely jammed out the door and that, that, the difficulties that that involves. So there is a need, and your own standards, your own HSE standards, say that there should be a nurse specialist for every 100 children. So we would, we would argue and could argue that there should be one and a half uh, posts in Donegal, but what I think the Donegal branch is looking for is that we get one itself so that we can provide the service close to home for the children that need it and for the children that deserve it. And I mean, the Diabetes Expert Advisory Group and their sta nine standards that they outline for diabetes care, standard number four says that the provision of diabetes services for children and adolescents should be equitable and fair throughout the country. And uh, that's all we're looking for in Donegal, equitable and fair treatment. And I think that's something that you should be able to deliver. Thank you. Thanks, Deputy, and the Minister has four minutes. <coughs> well, first of all, I'd like to thank the deputies across for raising this issue, which is clearly of considerable importance and, and concern to parents in Donegal. So I would like to thank Deputies McLaughlin, Doherty, Pringle and McConnell Oak for raising the matter. And for affording me the opportunity to reassure parents of children with diabetes and adults with diabetes that the restructuring of nursing resources for diabetes in Letterkenny will not result in a reduction of current le service levels and will enhance patient care by strengthening the links between diabetes care in primary, community and acute settings. And I know that this issue, as others have pointed out, is of great concern to Deputy Joe McHugh, who asked me to meet with the families and indeed to Minister Denny McGinley. As you are aware, I had the honour of presiding over the official reopening of the emergency department at Letterkenny General Hospital last month, and seeing at first hand what can be and has been achieved through the commitment and hard work of staff and management, and indeed the whole community around Letterkenny. Despite the pressures and challenges facing our health system, there is a determination to move forward to improve what we're doing and to deliver the best outcomes for patients. I did also have the chance to meet with representatives of the parents of children attending the diabetes service, and I understand their concerns. As parents, we want dedicated resources for our children, and as a parent, I accept this. When dealing with a complex chronic illness such as diabetes, we want consistent support. And as a doctor, I appreciate the reassurance that such supports can bring. I believe these supports are in place through the restructuring of the diabetes nursing resource in Letterkenny. And I am working a bit from memory, but as I understood it, there was a point eight uh, time given by the nurse. Uh, she's now becoming whole time, but across adult and pediatric. But she'd be about 0.6 at the time, I think, involved with the pediatrics. But she'll also have the addition now of a half time uh, another nurse, another clinical nurse, which means that the service goes from 0.8 to 1.1. Now look, I know on paper, as the deputy has said, this is an improvement, and it is, and I think in effect it will be too, but I know what the parents want. They want a full-time dedicated nurse. And equally, as one of the parents put it to me, they need to be reassured that at night when something happens, a hypo, that they can pick up the phone to someone who knows what they're talking about. Wonderful if they actually know their child, but that's not always possible because people can't be on call 24-7, seven days a week. It's, it's, it's not reasonable. It's no life. 
But certainly, I've been thinking about what's happening in Sligo and the nursing experience and expertise that's there, and I can't understand why we haven't been able to put together a 24-7 on-call service that people can lift the phone to an experienced paediatric nurse to advise them what to do when a child's blood sugar is going off, whether high or low. Um, and we will certainly look at that. But I am, I've, I've heard clearly what people have said too about the whole issue about a centre of excellence north of the Dublin-Galway line, and that's something that I certainly will look into. Um, I know that like when I was there to officially open the emergency department in early March, I spoke of my gratification at seeing the way that a county hospital works in partnership with local GPs and primary care services to address local population health needs so that those who need acute hospital care are directed to that care. This approach supports the aims of the National Clinical Programme for Diabetes, including the development of integrated care programmes to improve diabetes control, the development of a chronic disease management programme for diabetes, and the reduction in overall bed days for acute hospital diabetic care by 40,000. And if I could just say this about Donegal, it's always been a case that primary care there has been very well supported because of the huge geographic area that it covers and the realisation many years ago that a hospital-centred delivery system just couldn't deliver for such a wide geographic space. And, and that's why I think primary care in Donegal is probably more developed than many places in our country. But I mean, I want to ensure that our health service provides safe, quality, timely care. And I just want to let you know that is a priority concern of this government. I acknowledge sincerely the commitment of the staff of Letterkenny General Hospital Diabetes Service to their patients. And I think that's reflected by the interaction I've had with the families who have nothing but the height of regard and respect for the paediatric nurses. And I want to assure that the many families for whom this service is so vital that the addition of an integrated clinical nurse specialist will enhance the quality and timeliness of their children's care. But I, I don't leave it at that. I've taken on board what you said. I've taken on board what the families have said. And we, sir, I look forward to meeting them next week. And I certainly will be seeking to address the issue as outlined by them and to meet the needs and improve the service from their point of view. Because I did say this yesterday as I launched a new site, awareness site for Adam Harris, who set up a site for people with autism. You know, the service needs to listen to what people want from it, not just know, think it knows best about what to deliver for them. Thank you. Thanks, Minister. <coughs> Thanks, Katie. Look, yeah, I like the other deputies. I'd like to thank the Minister for his response. And I think what you say in terms of what the, the service needs to listen to the parents and the people who use the service and develop a service that responds to their needs rather than them telling them what their, their, the response is that they're going to get. And I think that's, that's very important. And I hope from um, next Tuesday's meeting that you'll be able to reassure the parents that that is, that is the road that you're going to go down on. And the thing, the thing that will reassure them and the thing that will make the difference for the families across Donegal is a commitment that the paediatric diabetes nurse specialist will be recruited for Letterkenny and will be there to work in a whole time for the, the paediatric services and with children with the, with the disease. Because there's no doubt, Minister, and you said it in your own presentation as well, that that will have a huge effect in, in terms of the future, in terms of preventing complications and preventing costs to the serv health services as well. So I think it's something that you should grasp and you should reassure the parents at the meeting next Tuesday and make sure that it happens as well. Thanks, Deputy. And the Minister to respond. Can I, can I thank the Deputies for their contributions and uh, the tone in which the debate was held. I think we're all trying to improve services for our people and there's none more emotive than services for our children. Um, I'll certainly endeavour to get the copy of that letter that Mr Murphy wrote and I have reviewed it and have my department review it before the meeting next Tuesday. Uh, I've heard what Deputy Doherty had to say also, and I would like to wish his nephew well and a bright future. Maybe he'll follow his uncle in here someday. <laughs> um, not necessarily under the same banner, though. No. Ah, I guess. Um, and Charlie McConnell, look, yeah, uh, look I will, and, and Deputy Pringle, I mean, I do want to see how we can address this issue to me, it's not just an issue of economics, because it makes perfect economic sense, but it's also an issue of quality of life for children. And 
nobody wants to hear of children having to travel four hours in a car when it could be an hour, no matter what part of Donegal they're in. So I certainly will examine that and try and get the best outcome I can for, pa for parents and their children. Thank you.